In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use the previously made Batwing rig and skin a mesh. We're going to use Cinema 4D cloth for the wing membrane. So let's jump in and get started. Here we are in Cinema and you can see I've got the wing mesh that's been modeled. It's just a simple Batwing with the membrane. They're separate objects, so the wing membrane is separate from the arm because we want to use cloth for the wing and we've got our rig already set up on the scene. So let's look at how we can skin this all up. So for now, I'm gonna hide our membrane and we're just gonna look at the mesh for the arms. So what we do to get this is we're gonna select all of our joints. So we can right click and here we wanna choose select children. And then we need to deselect our nulls here. So holding control, just click off the nulls so that only the joints are selected. Then still holding control, we're going to select the arm, which is just the base mesh. We're going to go to character and we're going to go to bind. Now, if we open up the attributes for the bind, there's different modes. There's heat maps, distance, and volumetric. We're going to stick with the heat map as the default because it's one of the better ways of assigning weights to each of these joints. So let's leave it all at default and hit OK. And what's happened now is if you look under the arm, there's this new skin deformer here. And that is letting you know that the mesh is now skinned to these joints. And if you would need to go in and start looking at the weights for these, what you can do is go to the character tool, go to the weight tool, and then if you select a joint, you can see the weight. And this also, as you can see, it's a paintbrush, it lets you paint if there's problems, go through check the weights, make sure they're all in the right place, depending on the type of model and the mesh you're using. But by default, this one is pretty decent. There's no real issues here. You can see each joint has got a nice assigned weight to it. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's come out of there like that. And if we wanted to just quickly grab our controller, you can see now our mesh is bind. So that's good. Now we can move on to the cloth part. So let's do that. Let's hide our joints and we'll get rid of the wireframe. Okay, so let's bring our membrane up and I'll leave the subdivision off for now. We're gonna select the membrane and already let's hide this arm. I've built a couple of selection sets. So if we double click on here, here's these points. And these points was what we're going to use to attach the cloth to the arm. So you can see I've gone around and I've added points along the fingers and along the edge of the wing. And there's another one there which we'll come back to. So we'll right click and we'll choose simulation tags, cloth, and we'll leave it all default. Don't really need to do too much unless you want to start playing around with the uh, the type of cloth we're using, but I'm just gonna leave it at default. So now we need to attach it to our arm. So we're gonna right click, simulation tags, cloth belt. And this is going to say, what do you want a belt on? So we wanna belt it onto the arm and then we can set. So if you watch these points, when we hit set, see how they change color? That means they're now set as links to the arm and then you can have control over the influence and the hover state but we don't need to touch those we want 100 percent influence because we want them moving with the arm so let's come out of there and bring our arm back and push play see now we have cloth but there's an issue this bit's flopping down so we need a little secondary bit of uh pinning option here so Let's just drop in a cylinder and we'll put that on the Z plane, scale it down. Just need something that we can bring in here, have hidden, and it'll be the object that this little bit, ideally this would be pinned to the side of your character, but we don't have a character here. We've just got the wing. So we're just gonna make a little make do option here 
and let's make this editable. You need to be editable for this pinning to work. Can't work on parametrics. So that's editable, we can hide it. And we've got our second little pins here, our little selection. So we're gonna use that. So another tag, simulation tags, cloth belt. And we're gonna cloth belt to the cylinder. Hit set, and now that's set. Okay, so there we got our main rig. Let's undo that. It's all set up, and there's a little bit of animation on here, a little flapping animation so that we can have a look at. Let's turn on our subdivision surface and push play. As you can see, they flop down, and then we've got that. So we've got our cloth. So it's flowing with, with the motion of our animation, and next thing is I need to turn back on the dynamics on those fingers. So let's go to the tags, dynamics, enable that. Go back to frame zero. There you go, that's good. So you can see it's got some nice fluid cloth-like wing motion there. And it's a cool way to check how this is good looking is if you put a sub a symmetry tag in there drop all that into symmetry like that let's turn off that display and we can see how this animation looks let's hide the rig so that's looking good Pretty happy with that it's a very quick and easy way to rig up some wings using the Cinema 4D rigging and cloth tools.